Well, it takes a village animal rescue and resources in Muscatine could be at risk of losing their shelter facility. TV 6's Larry Goodwin is live from the shelter this morning. And Larry, what sort of issues are they dealing with? Hey, how you guys doing? I'm just sitting down here playing with my top dog, Wolfie, here. Half dog, half horse. Good old boy right here. So whoever wants this dog better get him because he's a great dog. He's just chilling. Yeah, I'm here with uh, Megan Teeler. Now, she is the president and founder of this establishment. It takes a village, animal rescue and resources here in Muscatine. And Megan, the struggle is real. You guys had a distemper outbreak late last year. How hard has that been? It has been horrible. We lost some dogs, um, 13. We lost 13 dogs in that outbreak and um, the, the financial resources that were eaten and we just kind of were hemorrhaging money for a good three months while we um, closed all public facing operations, which are the revenue generating operations. We ceased adoptions, uh, stopped uh, surgeries in our clinic and we're we're feeling it. We're really feeling Man, it. Man, that's a definite heartbreaker, Megan, for sure. Now, you're saying, like, great dogs like Wolfie don't last very long. He's been posted now for a week, and you're even struggling trying to get him a person to, to adopt him. Talk about that. Yeah, typically, if we post a dog like Wolfie, he's got an adoption application in within 10 minutes, and, and he's approved and heading home within two days. And he's been posted for over a week and still no home for him. So that gives a really good indicator of how slow adoptions are. Wow, because surprisingly, great dog. Somebody's got to get this guy. He's awesome. Now, you guys are trying to bounce back, trying to get this online adoption fundraiser going. Talk about this fundraiser you have going right now on your website. So this is called Adopt an Envelope. Um, every one of these envelopes on here has a, a, a an amount. And when we are able to secure donations in every amount and every envelope is covered, that is enough funds to operate our shelter for a month. How's that been going so far? Uh, it was a really strong start on Monday. We made most of our ground on Monday, and right now we're about the 50% mark, um, but it really fell off the table in days two, three. So we're really hoping that getting the news out there will create a surge and, and we can finish strong before the weekend. Now, Megan, you were saying that if you guys do not meet your goal, that the entire shelter will not shut down just part of it. Is that correct? Talk about that. Well, the shelter would close, like the facility itself would close, but it's it's not our rescue that would close. So we would just resume foster-based operations. We would only be able to take in as many animals as we have foster placement for. So the difference between that would be that's what we were when we first started. So that first year, we were able to take in and adopt out right around 200 animals and put them into forever homes. Whereas last year, with a full shelter facility, we were able to take in and adopt out 679 animals. Wow. So it's a big difference. Wow. Well, Megan, I hope everything turns around for you. I hope this place bounces back and people start adopting these dogs. You guys can keep this place going and helping these animals out. Really appreciate your time and best of luck to you. Thank you so much. You heard her, folks. Come down here. It takes a village, animal rescue and resources. Get a great dog like Wolfie. Look at this pooch, man. It's such a great dog. Making it make a donation, make do an adoption. You guys help these dogs out, man. Great pooches. In Muscatine, I'm Larry Goodwin, TV6 News. All right, Larry, thank you. And if you would like to donate, you can visit their Facebook page. It takes a village, animal rescue and resources.